It's actually the first time I've ever gotten my hands on it. Initial thoughts, very impressed. Ah! God, he's old. Ah, yes. So, this is such an expensive flick here. So, <laughs> let's just start with that. What's up, fire team? Welcome back to Shift Fire, the exploration and appreciation of military culture. I'm Israel Wright, former Green Beret out of First Group, Fort Lewis, Washington, and with me as always. Thank you for that amazing introduction, Israel. My name is Cameron Fath, former Army Ranger out of Second Ranger Battalion, also out of Fort Lewis, Washington, and welcome to another episode of War Wallet. Today on this episode of War Wallet, we will be looking at Plate carriers, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. The carriers of the plates, the body armor carriers. You guys are pretty curious about plate carriers from our last episode of War Wallet, so we're deciding to give it to you. And when we say plate carrier, we don't mean this, which is soft armor used concealable underneath clothing and garment, typically what you see in law enforcement these days. No, we're talking plate carriers, right? Carriers designed for war fighting. Before we dive into this, make sure you guys subscribe to our channel, like this video, post a comment, and enjoy the ride. You ready to get into this? Let's do it, folks. So without further ado, let's introduce these amazing t-shirts. Ah. Yes, I'm sure you all have noticed Israel and I are wearing these badass Shift Fire t-shirts, which will be available to you in a very limited run, so don't hesitate. Grab yours before they're all gone. Folks, we really appreciate you supporting the channel, but what we really want to know is, what's your five mile? Let's get into it. So what we have here is the Condor Modular Operator Plate Carrier or the MOPC. So I actually have a personal connection to this plate carrier because it is the first plate carrier that I've actually ever owned. So before I joined the military, I was huge into a game called Airsoft. And in Airsoft, the big thing you do is you try to imitate real life plate carriers. You try to, you know, wear the same stuff the big boys are wearing. So I thought this would be a great plate carrier and you know what? has a 16 year old running around slinging BBs. It was, it did exactly what I needed it to do. Unfortunately, this is, you know, exactly what it is. It's a 60 to $90 plate carrier. Right. The stitching doesn't look that solid. The material itself feels, you know, like it's worth. We see a little bit of the Molly stuff here. Yeah, it's here. got Molly all over it, you yeah. know? And you can attach a lot of things. You can attach a lot of pouches to it, which is great. The uh, shoulder pads don't look that comfortable. They're made of the same material that, you know, I've had in the past that tends to stick to everything it touches. The plate bags themselves, we have a AR500 steel plate in there right now. <laughs> you can feel that and there's a lot of play in the pocket, right? There is, that's exactly what it is. A yeah. lot of sleeves in the more expensive ones hug the plate you put into it, but I'm seeing a lot of left and right movement because obviously those steel plates are really thin, so you will have movement back and forward, but it's the $90 plate here, right? I'm noticing a lot of fabric. You there know, is a lot of a extra lot. fabric, very thick, double canvas kind of fold it's over big, It's big, it's bulky, stuff. exactly. Yeah. And also you have your fast tag buckles on the side for some, you know, oh, added. So, you got, so the cummerbund, and then you got the buckles here as well. You can run this plate carrier without the cummerbund if you just want to use the buckles, if you don't feel like having that giant cummerbund that comes on this on your side. So you have a little bit of modularity there. There's a reason that Condor has been around for as long as however they've been around. Right, you really uh, just gotta get your hands on a plate carrier. This is a good first option. Come on, camera. we were out here in the great wide wilderness. We're just gonna do a little bit of movement, a little bit of practical movement in the plate carriers and then give our feedback on them. Uh, we have these wonderful sledgehammers here to simulate carrying a weapon with us. It's about the same size, it's an eight pound sledgehammer. Good training tool if you lack a real firearm. So that's what we're gonna be using today. We're just gonna be moving around a little bit and then uh, we'll let you know how it goes. I got on the Condor plate carrier with an inexpensive plate, it's just a steel plate. Just a steel plate, yeah. how does it feel? It feels a little, I mean, this is gonna sound weird, a little stiff, it's a little big, kind of feels a little wonky. It kind of feels like it's away from my body a little bit. Yeah, steel plates have a tendency to be so hefty that, you know, they don't conform to the body, they're just exactly what they are, steel plates. It's gonna right? stop a bullet. Yeah, it's that's just gonna stop it. the bullet, that's it. <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna run around a little bit and uh, let you know how it goes. Okay, sounds good, man. You ready? Let's see it. Ah! <laughs> God, he's old. Yep. Bob and Weave, let's see those. Let's see that dexterity. All right, 
Give me three burpees. Three burpees? What? Ah. Oh, God, my chin. Yeah, I'm bad. <laughs> I think it's moving around a little bit. Yep. Ah. All right, man. <laughs> How'd that feel? I felt more comfortable, more compact feel, like something snug against the body. Mm -hmm. So it just feels a little loose, man, really. Yeah. And of course, it's a little bit heavier. <laughs> How do your shoulder pads feel? Shoulder pads feel a little bit of rubbing. Yeah. Kind of right in here against my neck. Yeah. Right up there. I'm sure there's probably additional pads you could probably get after market. Yeah, after you market. Know? But that's the design of the plate carrier, yeah, man. Is, man. Not that's, much thought goes into it. Just hold it my is. That's right. <laughs> yeah. All right, so I think that's enough of this play care. Let's see, moving up a little bit in the price. Let's see what you guys can get your hands on. Coming up next. All right, coming up next is one of my personal plate carriers. This plate carrier is the Cry Precision JPC or the Jump Plate Carrier okay. 1.0. Pretty much Cry Precision is a standard in the industry. You'll see them everywhere. All the uniforms we wear in regiment were by Cry. Yep. The plate carriers issued to us in special operations are primarily Cry. You see Cry everywhere in the military. This plate carrier prices around for the 1.0, I think around like 229, 230 area. Already I'm seeing a little bit of differences. It's a bit sparser in the fabric area, right? I'm seeing there's a little bit less fabric. I see a little bit lighter kind of fabrics they're using. The cummerbund is a little less in there, kind of in between there. Yeah, so I mean, you got your skeleton cummerbund. It comes standard with that. You can also add attachments that Cry has. They have a multitude of different accessories you can attach to your plate carriers. This one has a couple things upgraded onto it. So with these like ice vents here, I put those on myself just because these shoulder straps are a little thin. This is super strong, by the way. It looks very, you know, looks a, a little frail. thin. Yeah. Looks a little thin, but I swear to God, the only way you're getting this off me is with med shears to cut it off. All right. um, but the jump plate carrier was designed just like it sounds like. It was designed to be jumped while wearing. Oh, like, wow. So if you're doing halo operations or even, you know, I've seen people jump it in an airborne configuration. You're allowed to because your straps are smaller, the plate bags are a little thinner, and your cummerbund's a skeleton. So it allows you that option if you're in the military and you're looking for a plate carrier that you can use on airborne operations. The 1.0 is lacking in the new features that the 2.0 has which is going to be on the back you'll see cry added zippers on the side that you can zip on back panels entire complete back panels yeah, so you okay. don't have to molly everything to it what i have on front here this isn't coming with the plate care this is a blue force gear 10 speed shingle it's just you put magazines in here but as you know affordable plate care that gave me everything i needed the jpc 1.0 was awesome. One thing, I've never used this, but one thing I'm liking already is the shoulder pads and a little bit on the inside underneath the collar. Yeah. I like that because it obviously airflow, keeping you cool and stuff like yeah. that. So that would so be normally aftermarket. it would be without it, Yeah. but you bought these little extra pads right in Yes, oh, yes okay. I did. A little bit of modification, I like that too. Yeah man, I mean it's super comfortable plate care, it's exactly what it is, it's low profile, right? It's mm -hmm. less moving pieces, it's small, it's easy to wear, it's user friendly. The only gripe I had with it is if you find yourself in like a really heavy machine gun roll or you know, being an infantryman, carrying as much sustainment gear as you can, it'll start to get a little uncomfortable just okay. because those shoulder straps are smaller and not as padded. So that's why I went ahead and added these ice vents just for added protection or added comfort. But all in all, I love this plate carrier. It's battle tested. It gets my stamp of approval for a budget plate carrier yeah. or at least like a medium price range. So I am going to be wearing the Cry 1.0 with the Safe Life standard plates, ceramic plates in them. Okay. I'm going to do a little bob and weave in here, try to get it pretty fast, and we'll there. see how it feels. Show them how it's done. All right. Whew. Whoa! That's some combine training right there. Yeah. All right, give me some burpees. Give me three burpees. Give me three burpees. Quick, quick, quick. Go, go, go. There you go. Woo! Nice, man, nice. So it's a good plate gear. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't move around on me. Luckily, you know, I have my ice vent pads. They do a lot and there wasn't a lot of bouncing. It's just the plate. You get this little gap right up here. In between the collarbone and the plate right yeah, there? because collarbone it doesn't fit all the way. Okay. Could potentially be dangerous if a round gets in there, you know. Oh. You've heard of guys getting shot right there. Bullet bounces off a bone, hits the plate, goes right back in. Let's throw on some new plate carriers and let's run it again! Let's do it again! <laughs> Alright man, let's see what we got next. Alright, take this away. Thank you. Friendly face, familiar face. Alright, so this one is the Defender QRC 
2.0. It's actually the first time I've ever gotten my hands on it. Initial thoughts, very impressed. Actually, yeah, super lightweight. We got some level three plates in there already. Yeah, it blew my neck. mind. The plates inside of this carrier, I was shocked to find out that they are actually ballistic rated up to 762 ball and 556. Five, the plate carrier itself, really cool design. Again, real sparse design. We're getting like leaner and leaner with the amount of fabric being used. Absolutely. One thing since you got the back there, it shares a similar adjustment to the JPC. Right. Using you the- You undo these things, you yeah. can adjust them in and out for the cummerbund width, like yep. for the girthier among us. I don't want to weigh this thing down with so many pouches, you know, a radio pouch, some, you know, a hydration pouch on here, general purpose pouch, three magazines on the front. The shoulder straps are quick release on both sides. So just I really by pulling appreciate them. that. You got the back here and then you got the sides down here, the quick release from the side, which I've never experienced that or never had a plate carrier that had that. It was all Velcro before anyway. Yeah, say you're a saw gunner in the military or you know, you're law enforcement where you have a placard and you have handcuffs and your taser and a flashlight and a, you know, another row of magazines. Lifting this flap can be, you know, really restrictive and just annoying. Yeah. So not having to even worry about the front of the placard here and just pulling yourself away and now you're out of it. Now, wait a minute. The pouches look like there's a little bit of modularity too, right? Yeah, the so fast tax there. you can buy this flap, which is also made by Defender, but you can pretty much attach anything that's a placard on here. So, nice. there you go, that comes off super easy. If you have another version or a configuration that slaps right on the Velcro and clips right in, you have some modularity. That way, if you have something set up differently, like I don't know, a different mission set possibly, you know, a different environment you're going in to where you need a different configuration, not just a war fighting. You can slap this one off, grab the new one. All you do is slap this one on. Good old hook pile tape. Yep. The advancements we are learning and you're good to go, all right. I think it's a solid plate carrier, man, especially if you're a civilian looking to own one of these just for either home protection or keeping your car. I think it's a great option, really minimalistic. This is the lightest plate carrier I have ever held in my life. Yeah, it's amazing. That's the first impression when you pick it up, you're mm -hmm. like, wow. And this is with some of their level three plates in there. They're yeah. Super light. Yeah, so this, you can find them on Defender Armor's website. Without the placard though, the placard is gonna cost you some extra cheddar. This plate carrier is gonna run you anywhere between 350 to $400 and that's why it is placed kind of in medium budget plate carrier. Right. I got the Defender Armor Plate Carrier Plus, Defender Armor Plates. I think in here I got the level three. Yeah, you got the level three. How does it feel? Super light, man. It's like almost wearing like a, a wool shirt. It's, it's really light, man. That entire setup's around six or seven pounds. Yeah. And I'm I, so jealous. Compared to the steel plates you just had on. Obviously I feel like I got a lot more freedom of movement without the plate carrier kind of moving uh -huh. around on me. Does it you know? feel flush to your body? Oh, yeah. Like you feel yeah. the gap that you had? No, there's no gap there. There's no gap right there. It really is that contour. You feel it. It's right flush with your body. Yeah. All right, five burpees, five. Got a seven pound kite carrier. <laughs> Hell yeah. Did you guys know Israel has been to the CrossFit regionals? Fun fact. <laughs> it's almost like there's nothing there, man. Real contoured, real close to the body. I feel like I have so much freedom of movement, not having to worry about that plate carrier moving around or catching on something. Super light, these plates, man. I can't yeah. get over how light they are. I'm super jealous. Let's Solid. see what we got next, man. Let's do a bubble. Oh, this is looking all kitted out. This one looks familiar. What we have here is the Haley Strategic Thorax Plate Carrier. I love this plate carrier. Yeah? I think this is a, an amazing plate carrier. You can do a lot with this thing. Yeah, very modular. You know, the Haley prides themselves. They got the dragonfly symbol right there. Mm -hmm. Dragonfly right there. Yep. Adaptability, right? Adaptation. So they designed this plate carrier with that mindset at the forefront. My favorite part about this plate carrier is basically when you're building it online, you can configure it any way that fits your mission set. So say you want a different placard, you can order it with a different placard. You don't like a thin cummerbund with their chicken strap here. You can get a triple cummerbund that's a little bigger. Right, a little um, thicker cummerbund. Yeah, you can get a dangler with this. You can get side opening cummerbund attachments. You know, the sky's the limit with this plate carrier. This is where we get into the more expensive arena because the base 
kit is 360, and then as you start adding and interchanging mm -hmm. different attachments, then it's, that kind of starts going up. From yeah, so the way you're seeing it, guys, as far as it's configured right now, you're looking at around five to $600 for this plate carrier. I'm a big fan of their side chicken straps here just because I got yeah. a short torso. Usually when I run anything on my belt, my magazines will come up and they'll snag my cummerbund because I am vertically challenged, because I'm fun size. The inside's got the heat vents you know, for dissipating yeah. that heat. Super comfy, right? I want to be comfortable because you might be wearing this for long periods of time. Uh, the only time I ever wore body armor was for training and in Iraq and it was never less than a couple hours at a time. So yeah. this was a big quality aspect of it for me. Another thing that I absolutely love about this plate carrier is the M4 placard here. They're not just designed for M4s. If I was an AK guy or if I was, you know, running a DMR with 308 mags, they would absolutely fit in these inserts. Nice. Additionally, they have these spandex inserts here. So if I wanted to take a tourniquet and I'm looking for somewhere to put it, I can put it here. If I'm a breacher on a SWAT team or overseas, it can run my initiator. I can put the initiator and the shock tube literally up on front because that's a big thing that we encountered. You always have to put your blasting cap on a plate. Oh, so okay. you can run, you know, multiple initiators and shock tube inserts on front here. You can run a tourniquet, you can run a flashlight, you can run anything that fits and that's something that I absolutely love about this plate carrier. I'm gonna add the Haley Strategic Thorax with standard sappy plates. So basically what they issue in the military, I have no gap where I just had one with my cheaper plates Yeah, and it's still conforming to my body. It's a great plate carrier. I'm excited to run this <laughs> and too, see right? how it you know, handles up to actual movement. Yeah, exactly. All right, I'm gonna jump then weave, jump then weave. Camera time. Relax, bro! <laughs> give me some, give me five, Burby. Give me five. One. Two. Three. Four. And five. Forgot. One, oh, one Kinda forgot that jump at the oh, end. Yeah, that's right, that's right. I had a little bit of vertical movement on the burpees. Okay. But I think it's because I haven't quite dialed in the plate carrier to my body style yet. Right. As far as running, the shoulder pads, excellent. I'm pretty comfy right now. <laughs> I mean, I've worn this plate carrier for over 14 hours before. So you've trained with it, that's a good thing to know. Yeah. So you've already got a little bit of time in the Yeah, field. it's fantastic. Okay. The guys at Halo Strategic really knew what they were doing. I have nothing bad to say about this Blake here. <laughs> That's great, all right. Let's bring back the Defender real quick. Let's talk about maybe some of the differences between mission sets, right? Okay. This one is meant for war fighting and, you know, hardcore LEO work. This one, I would say, would be more of the humble, everyday, average person that wants to, you know, get a plate carrier, wants to train, and wants to better themselves and would, have, you know, the equipment to do so. Special thank you to Defender Armor and Haley Strategic for being awesome and supporting this channel. Go check them out. You won't be disappointed. So. Let's move up the ladder and check out our most expensive plate carrier that we can get. Ah, yes. So, all you geardos out there, you gear weirdos, are gonna recognize this baby immediately. This is the Cry Precision AVS. So, this is such an expensive plate carrier. So, <laughs> let's just start with that. Your shoulder strap, which this entire system is designed to wrap around your body, so it's multiple pieces. So you can take out pieces, you can switch them all. Pretty modular. Yeah, it's extremely modular, right? So just for the vest system, the plate bags, and the M4 front flap to have Molly on your front is gonna run you $650. But this, literally, as it sits right now, this plate carrier is about 99% identical to exactly what I was running and exactly what active duty rangers are running on their plate carriers right So this is right issue, now. a lot of this stuff is issue. Cry ABSs are straight issued in regiment. But with all this stuff on this plate carrier right now, you're looking at a price tag northwards of $1,000 with everything. So Shoo! this is an expensive plate carrier. Just for clarification, this current configuration without plates, 
is upwards of $1,000. Once you start introducing actual ballistic plates to it, you're pushing two grand. So that's why this is at the top of our list for most expensive plate carriers. This plate carrier is for strictly war fighting, right? You could get this in the civilian world. Absolutely, if it's in stock, you know, you really gotta check Cry Precision's website. They're super popular. Everybody right. wants to get their hands on these because yep. they're so well made. I put this on last night and I just got nostalgia, man. Yeah, I was like, man. I know that feeling, yep. I was like, man, I forgot how amazing this plate carrier is. It feels like a hug. This one's particularly heavy. It doesn't have those Defender Armor inserts on it. And I'm sure if you mix the two, this would be a dream come true. But you know, I don't have $1,000 to just spend on body armor. Right. I'm Noticing a couple differences just off the bat. I mean, obviously a very nice fabric on the inside, but it's got the side plates. You don't see yeah. that very often. Yeah, so these side plates, a lot of the plate carriers, like the, the Haley offers them as well. Oh, you, okay. you can just do side plate inserts, but you know, if you want to save money and get an amazing plate carrier, the Haley strategic all the way. If you're like, you know, I'm an airsofter and I want to imitate the dudes and like wear what they're wearing, yep. you're going to end up finding yourself buying one of these. So many features on this AVS that I could spend hours talking about it. I think this is a solid plate carrier. All right, here I am. First impression. It's snug, but I'm sure that would be alleviated with a little bit of personal adjustment. Absolutely. I'm just kind of throwing this on. What I like, it's got some quick release features that I have not had in the past. All mine was pretty much basically Velcro, you know? Yeah. Like for mine, I had upgrades and I put Cobra buckles on both sides so I could ditch my plate carrier like that. Oh, so a okay. lot of modularity, a lot of upgrades that you can do to this plate carrier. But like I said, it's $800 plate carrier just by itself. All right, here we go. Here you go. <laughs> Hell yeah. All right, let's finish it off. One, two, three, four, five. Couldn't let you do it by yourself. Hey, thanks, man. Thanks for being a battle buddy. No problem. He can't get all the fun. Good experience. Not a lot of movement. God, just real snug, man. Snug. That's just like a constant thought of mine. Real snug, not a lot of movement. No. And really just getting up and down, the burpees. Yeah. The side plates are going to help because they add a lot of weight. The ABS feels like somebody's hugging you from behind. A surprise hug, if you will. <laughs> I think it's one of the best combat plate carriers you can get, and that's why our tier one and tier two assets are utilizing it. Right, so. uh, they're in good hands, huh, we could say. Yeah. With this plate carrier. Yeah, well, good on you. And hey, maybe we'll bring some more models in in the future, right? Absolutely. I mean, yeah. like Izzy said, there's a lot, a lot of plate carriers out there. Some that I'm learning about today that have great reputations. I just haven't got a chance to use them yet. Right. And that's why you're here because you're gonna come along with us. Folks, if you like this video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. Leave a comment, leave 20 comments down there in the comment section. Let us know what you thought of this episode. Other stuff you'd like to see. I'm telling you, we read those comments. We really wanna hear what you think. It's a fun adventure we're on and we're glad you're on the journey with us, so. Absolutely. We hope you guys enjoyed this episode of War Wallet. Till next time, Fire Team. This has been Ship Fire. One in dark. Crush it. What's next? Um, oh, great plate. That was what you were saying. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oop, no, okay. Give me that. Take that. Get up. Rock, Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Ah. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did I win or did I lose? You won. <laughs> you get to do more PT. Oh, correct. <laughs>